Right, so this is my new purchase. A hydration backpack. Camel pack, water bladder. Now there's quite a few things. You've probably seen them before. So what it is. A little rucksack. With that in the back. Let's have a look at it. There we go, so it's two litres. That goes in there. That's the bit you drink from. So I think what you do, I think you put it in your mouth and you... Oh yeah, that's it. When you bite it, it lets the water out. So the reason we've gone for this is our tour coming up. Which we are heading down towards Limoges in France. Currently it's 38 degrees there. So it's going to be a little bit warm. So we thought instead of having to stop every 10 or 15 minutes to have a drink, if the temperature stays that warm, at least with these on, we can keep hydrated. So all I need to do, I need to see, does it work on the bike? Can I get that underneath the chin part of my helmet? I've got three microphones in my helmet, so will I get that in? That's what I need to find out. But first, we need to get this inside here. And I don't know where the tube comes out. So imagine that goes in there. Oh, I bet that just... I bet that just comes over the top like that. Uh, you got one of these on each side. To put that through. quite small it's only two litres Should be ideal. Right, let's go and try it on the bike. Right, so let's go and try it. So, already I've made a couple of modifications. It was only cheap, it's only like 11 quid off Amazon. I'll put the link in the bottom, but you know, there's plenty of them out there. So, it's just a normal hydration pack. You see runners wearing them, cyclists wearing them. Now I thought the bladder went in this part here. But it doesn't. It doesn't go in that front bit. What it does, just here, the bladder goes in there. So the bladder goes in this back part. But what you've got to watch is the cap. You fill the water up with, you want the cap facing that way, not this way, so it's going to stick in your back. So really the front part acts as a rucksack. I mean you can put the bladder in there if you want, it don't really matter. But what it does is see where this tube comes out the strap, there's no hole this side. The hole for that 
is inside this bit. So if you put the bladder, I suppose, in this part, you just have the tube coming out the zip. Now the only other thing is, is it's a bit of a pain to get the bladder in that bit because the bladder's wider than the neck. So that's going to be a right pain, because as you can see there, the bottle cap is facing that way. So that's a nightmare to fill the water up. So you would have thought there'd be a zip here. So you can see it's all I did. I've just made a little cut along the top. Just so I can pull it down. There you go. See, that's the reason you have that facing that way. You don't want it facing into your back, because that's going to stick in your back. So I've just made a little cut. I'm never going to use this as a rucksack. It will only ever be used whenever I'm out in hot weather for a drink. I mean, you could completely cut that out if you want. It doesn't matter. So, let's try it out. And the other mod I made, I've cut the lid off the end. There was a lid on here, which when you took the lid off, it stuck out a bit. Now, all that's going to do is make it harder to get underneath my helmet. The water doesn't leak out because you've actually got to squash that with your mouth for the water to come out. So nothing leaks out of it. So let's go and try it. Let's see if that will fit under my helmet and I can drink. And how easy it is. It don't weigh a lot at all. I've put two litres in. Right. Let's just do my straps there across the top. I'll stop it falling off my shoulders. That's it. So I just wanted to see is whether this hanging down interfered with anything. Well, I don't think it does. I mean, you can. I think there's another hook here you can put it on there. But let's see. I mean, obviously, I've got three microphones inside my helmet. I've got the GoPro microphone. I've got a microphone for my drift. And I've got the microphone for my Cardo intercoms. So they're all at the front. Right, now I can get into my mouth. That's easy enough. Let's just go and see if we can do it whilst we're riding. And the nice thing, I've put cold water in the bladder and already I can feel that on my back. It's cooling my back down. I suppose in the winter if you're going to wear it, you could put a hot drink in it, but I wouldn't put flavoured drinks in the back or pop. That's only going to smell and go sticky. I'm only gonna, ever going to use water in there. What are we on? 21 degrees. It's 7 o'clock. Let's find somewhere where well, there's enough room and time for me to take my hands off the bars to be able to put the tube in. Yeah, we can try it here actually. Here's the tube. No, actually. It's locked. Because you, you push the mouthpiece, you push it up to unlock it. So let's go and try that again. Right, here we go. It's quite easy to grab. Oh, that works brilliant. Yep, easy. I'd imagine other people have done it. I certainly wouldn't imagine I'm the first. But as we said, this uh, this trip we're doing to France, at the minute it's running 38 up to 40 degrees. So if we're going to be, I mean some days we've got like six, seven hours riding to do. So if we're riding all day, we can't afford to keep stopping every 15 minutes, half hour to have a drink. We need to like crunch some miles out. So we need to do an hour, a couple of hours non-stop. Then with 38 degrees, that's going to be hard work on a bike. Really hard work. So most of the MotorF team have brought these. I think it's going to be invaluable to be honest. I think Viper's taking just a water bottle. I'm just hoping it's not going to be too hot for him. As I said, we ain't going to be stopping that often. So I'm hoping it don't fry him. Because he's going to be absolutely baking at 38 degrees for a couple of hours. But 11 quid, you know, it ain't much, it's nothing. 
and at the end of the day it could make all the difference to a tour I mean if we've got the heat all week because we're there for a week that's going to be quite a difficult quite a difficult uh, ride in that heat so for 11 quid we can keep hydrated on the road I mean I've done it myself before I've been out on my bike uh, to my dad's caravan which was only about 40 minutes away and I'm boy did it uh, in the summer actually we'd just got back from Normandy I went to my dad's caravan it was 32 degrees yes I hadn't got a mesh jacket then I got my normal Oxford one but I remember after 40 minutes when I got to my dad's caravan my head was pounding so obviously in your jacket and your helmet I dehydrated that quick now if we're in another eight nine degrees hotter than that for six to seven hours dehydration is not the thing you want on a bike you know you can't afford to be dizzy losing your concentration so I think it's going to be a good a good little investment for 11 quid the only thing with it I'm having to leave my chin curtain open on my helmet so I'd imagine I'm getting quite a bit of wind noise at the minute but let's have another drink there you can actually just spit it out your mouth as well brilliant that's just using a normal little hydration pack on the bike so summer riding it's perfect for it obviously two litres of water is not that heavy it's nice and cool on my back and you know even if we're out all day even if the water gets warm in it or hot you know it doesn't really matter as long as we're still taking in fluid it doesn't matter if it's warm or cold fluid as long as fluid's going in but still be stopping quite often for our dinner and coffee stops and god knows what but a couple of hours in between I think it's going to be vital it's going to be vital to our survival so that's my two little modifications I had to make is I cut the cap off the end which you don't really need and to be honest with you with that cap I'd imagine that cap might get stuck on my microphone wire so bin that off didn't need that and just cut that little slit in the rucksack part just so I can get to the cap to put water in it so I don't have to keep taking the bladder out just to fit it the only thing I think what would be good is if the mouthpiece was a little right angled one so you could just you know pop it up because what I'm having to do is where's the tube I'm having to put it in and slightly bend it a bit like that but it's easy enough there we go we'll stop at the lights we'll have a little drink I don't know what that sounds like being that close to the mic but sure does taste good and at least then when we're in France each time we stop for coffee or dinner if we've drunk it all all you gotta do is just buy a bottle of water top it up keep yourself hydrated all day so the product is a success I'm happy with it it works but hold on a minute I've got a burp now <coughs> excuse me what let's get her put away oh my god as well look at them my new road skin gloves oh they feel lovely 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 jubbly bye for now Oh, it's hot when you get off the bike. I suppose I better have a drink. Oosh! Boosh! Yeah. 